Okay, so let's have a look at who we can calculate the strength of a, of a password. Okay, so we can get fairly simple passwords such as this one, or they can get more complicated such as this one here. In this case, what we've done is used upper and lower case. We've also used numeric values. We've used other characters, non-alphabetic or numeric characters. We have also uh, sort of added in, uh, in this case, that's, that's an O rather than a, than a, a zero. Okay, and the strength of the password will typically relate to the number of characters that we use. Often, the more characters we use, the password uh, will become stronger. Also, the character set that we use also has a bearing on it. If we use up and lower case, numeric values and so on, all of this strengthens the, 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 the password. And then there'll be uh, the case of uh, the brute force speed. So obviously the faster the computer that's used to actually try and crack the password, uh, the less secure the password will become. And obviously we need to avoid a dictionary type of attack. So this is a, a password that could appear in a dictionary uh, and it's often fairly easy if a word is in a dictionary for it to be cracked. Okay, so let's take an example of a five character password. In this case, we're just using lowercase values. That gives us 26 different characters. If we take 26 to the power of five, let's try that. So 26 to the power of five gives us 11 million, 800 and odd thousand then. Then if we use upper and lowercase values, it gives us 52 characters, and if we do 52 to the power of 5, we get 380 million. By adding in numeric digits, we add another 10 characters. This time it's 62 to the power of 5, gives us nearly a billion there. And then if we add in all the other characters that we have here, such as an extra 12 ones, that gives us 74 characters, which gives us over 2 billion different passwords. Okay, so the greater the opportunity for the passwords uh, in the uh, password range, the more difficult it will be able to crack it with brute force. So here's an example of our passwords. So there's lowercase. This one we're using up in lowercase. This one we're using uh, the addition of a, a numeric value. And then the last one, we're using all of them. And we're also using one of these characters in here. Okay, so there's our five character passwords starting from five A's and ending with all Z's. If we do a calculation, 26 to the power of 5 gives us 11 million, over 11 million passwords. If we say that uh, we crack uh, 11, 1 million passwords per second, then the total, the maximum amount of time will be this value divided by 1 million. That's 1 times 10 to the 6, and we get 11 seconds to crack it on one processor. Okay, so we'll just try that out just to make sure that that works. Okay, so it's uh, 26 to the power of 5, and we divide by 1 times 10 to the 6 and we get 11.88 seconds. But obviously what we can do is that uh, we can uh, make it run parallel, so we can give each processing element a range of passwords to, cry, to, to try. So in this case we have 16 processing elements, so we'd reduce roughly the amount of time to process down to 1 16th. So we can divide by 16, and then we get uh, our time here reduced down to less than a second. Okay, so now let's have a look at some practical examples. Okay, so I've set up a web page here. So I just let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to select uh, characters there, uh, A to Z, and we can see there's 26, and this gives us the the amount of passwords here, you can see for a 10-digit password, it's quite a large number. 
if we take 1 million uh, processing elements or passwords processed per second, then it takes four, over four years for a 10 digit password maximum time to be cracked. But what we should be able to see if we use a lot more processing elements, such as say in a, in a graphics card, might have 4,000 elements. So we take it down to just over nine hours with that. Okay, so we'll just go back to our one there. But we can also increase the number of processing elements. So if we have a very fast processor, say at one billion uh, passwords tried, takes us down to 1.63 days. So now we'll add in uh, A to Z in upper and lower case. Now we can see it takes an awful lot more time there. So we can see here, eight digits is still about over a year, but we can bring that down to just 14 hours if we use a billion per second, and even more if we use, so an eight digit password is cracked within 13 seconds, roughly, with 4,000 elements and a billion uh, processing uh, uh, passwords processed every minute, every second. So now we add in the characters, that's 62. You can see we've increased here. And we'll just bring down the processing element again, and there. So now we're taking about 15 hours to crack a 16-digit password, and six, nearly seven years there. But again, if we can increase the processing elements, we're down to two days for an eight-digit password. And then if we have a big supercomputer, we have 65,000 processing elements we see it takes three, just over three seconds maximum time to brute force an eight-digit uh, password. Now we'll add in some more characters, and we can see that we're now increasing again. So if we do our million and one processing element, our eight-digit password is taking 28 years to crack maximum time in this case. But again, we can increase the processing speed 10 days, and we can increase the number of processing elements, say in a, a CUDA graphics card with 4,000 processors, we're down to 3.66 minutes. Okay, so this is showing you really how you can determine the, uh, the actual uh, strength of, uh, of a password.